Today I'm going to be making the new oatmeal scotchy cookies. These are from Krusty's. They are uh, butter, they're cookies, they're oatmeal co cookies with butterscotch chips. And Eric told me about these. I put a little note on them with the price, but I have to be able to read my writing. We got them at Kroger, they were $2. So that's not bad at all for a cookie mix. So all I've done is I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees. I have two cookie sheets waiting here with some parchment paper. Uh, but right now I'm just gonna deal with the cookie mix. You only need a stick of butter and an egg. You don't need any oil, water, anything like that. So, um, and soften your butter. Yes, you soften the butter for best results. You can melt it in the microwave, uh, but they say that it's best if you, uh, there's a hard bit, a little hard bit in there. Oh, I guess that's the chips, huh? And the butterscotch chips. It's best if you don't melt your butter in the microwave. Mmm, that smells mm, wonderful. That smells you can really smell the butterscotch. So I'm gonna put my egg in. And my butter, softened butter. I've had it laying out for probably half hour, 45 minutes. And you just stir. So this may take a while. I will probably, um, I'll show you what I'm doing but I'll probably speed this up, and if I have trouble, I might get Kevin to take this part over <laughs> for me. Now that I can no longer move my arm, <laughs> I offered to help. She she, he it. did offer to help. That is the truth. But I thought, you know, I've come this far. Honestly, it would have been a lot easier if you had have used a mixer. But I'm sure they don't want you to squash your uh, oats uh, because there's some really big uh, pieces of oats. Now, Kevin, what's that? That's looks like a two, table two tablespoons. Yeah, two tablespoons. We were trying to figure out. Um, uh, the tablespoon, the measurement on this um, uh, cookie like baller. Tablespoons. Well, a tablespoon and a half, maybe. I don't know. It says spread them two inches apart. Is that two inches apart? Yeah, that's pretty good enough. I have no idea. You only get 12 of these. Oh, really? It only makes if 12? It's a two tablespoon. Okay. So that, well, that's good that that tells me that. So we'll know. If I only get 12, but it was two tablespoons. Okay, so how long do these need to go in the oven? Uh, if they're two brown tablespoons, 12 to 14. Okay, we will do it for 12 minutes, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this that I've done with this, and then we'll come back when I take them out of the oven. Okay, so all I did was I took these out and put them on the cooling rack. How long were they in the oven? Uh, 12 minutes. 12 minutes, and they look absolutely perfect. And they smell good, too. I love yeah. the, the little brown at the bottom. That's and we good. tried some of the raw dough, and oh, it's, it's wonderful. So we will try the actual cookies in just a minute. Okay, this is the first batch of cookies, and they have cooled off some. Like I said, the raw dough is awesome. So, still really soft. Here, take it and I'll show this. And they're thick, too. Mm. 
That was a super sweet cookie. That's very good. Mm. I like the, the oatiness of them, the, mm -hmm. like the bigger hunks of oats. That is so good. Mm -hmm. That was totally worth it. Uh, all that work I had to do. Mm -hmm. the it, storm. it really was. Yeah, if you'd use a dough hook on the mixer, I think it probably would have been easier, but... But it might have crushed the, um, the, um... I don't think so. Butterscotch pieces. I don't think it would. You don't think it would mm -hmm. have? Maybe that was their fear. Maybe that's why it wasn't. They I think it's one to do by hand. It probably does work better by hand, but you could have done it with a dough hook, too. Dough hook may overwork it or something. I don't know. Well, these it's are really good. excellent. I would, it taste like butterscotch. I would totally get these. You know, they're taste sweet, in the but... Pieces. I taste something sweet, but I don't know that it's butterscotch. Mm -hmm. you know? To me, when I get one of those little pieces, it's really strong. It is, but I don't know that it's really strong. Butterscotch, sir, but I'm not complaining. They're really good. Yeah, they, they, are, <laughs> they are very, very, very good. And this is the kind of thing that you would want to share with other people because they are so good. You wouldn't want to uh, sit here and, and eat them all yourself. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> so we will be sharing these. Oh yeah, I'd be uh, sick yeah. if I ate more than a yeah, couple. Yeah, you of would definitely be sick because they are very, very, very sweet. But excellent. Uh, but excellent. So Eric, thank you for letting me know mm -hmm. they're out there, and to everyone else, hopefully you can find these in your area. And thanks for watching.